happy 18th of July. Today is Thursday and we woke up to rain this morning and it was so lovely. I love rain and it's a bit cooler and it's just lovely. I'm getting a bit dripped on but that's fine. I don't mind that. <laughs> um, hmm. Pete and I planted our um, ornamental flowering cherry tree last night, so that was such good timing because now it's having a lovely drink. Today is all about Advent sewing, so, so <laughs> you may not see me so much today because it's going to be a bit boring, I think, on the vlog front, but I hope, fingers crossed, to make some healthy snacks this afternoon so I'll see how I go and um, yeah hopefully that will be something of interest for you but it's lovely and cool it's only 16 degrees today um, and yeah it's lovely so I'll see you later I had um, a few comments on yesterday's vlog about the vase that I used to display some flowers from the garden um, and where did I get it? Well, I actually got it the day I went to the hairdressers, which I vlogged about. I went into two shops, ooh, drippy, two shops. And I got it from the first shop, but they don't sell them anymore. So I went searching this morning when I was having my breakfast. Oops. And I found a couple of options on Amazon. It's not exactly the same one. I just couldn't find those anywhere. I looked online and everything, everywhere. But I found a couple of options on Amazon for the screw top to go on a mason, um, is it mason or mason jar? Um, so there is that option and there's also an option for a jar with the lid comes together, but it's purple. So if you like purple, you're in luck. Um, so, I've never, these aren't what I have, so I can't vouch that they're perfect or anything, or I don't know what the shipping's like or anything, so I've not ordered, but I'll put the links below this vlog on YouTube to the options that I found, just in case anyone is interested. So, um, yeah, it's annoying I couldn't find the same one because it's really, really cute. So here in the UK, um, and maybe other places too, we get Bon Mammon jam. And that looks like, oops, that looks like the right size jar compared to the one I have. But I can't find anywhere with a lid. I think they're called frog lids or something. That's what I seem to discover this morning. So anyway, I'll put the links below this video on YouTube for the ones that I found. But um, I hope you find what you're looking for because they're really, really good because the flowers stay in place. I guess you could always get some chicken wire and kind of screw it up and like insert it. You could probably do that into the jar, obviously. Um, yeah, just remembered I wanted to say that. See you later.
am just about to make some cacao and almond oat bars by Deliciously Ella. It's from her app. Um, yeah, so I'm just about to do that. I've lost something already. I have been sewing crazily this morning and fusing fabric and um, just having a, a little break. I whip some of these up. syrups it asks for brown rice syrup and coconut blossom nectar which I haven't got so I just added some maple syrup instead of that so now I just need to put all the dry ingredients in a bowl and pour the melted mixture over when it's melted it doesn't say what size tin so I'm gonna have to wait until I've mixed it up to see how, how much mixture I've got, I think. So, let's get on with that. in the oven it smells so good and actually last night I made a batch of muesli for mostly for George and I, I finished making it I thought that was so silly because it's something I could have shared so um, basically we don't buy muesli I have made our muesli for probably 12 years maybe <laughs> and um, it's literally George's favourite snack and breakfast and he just loves it so much and there's no sugar in it, well no added sugar in it and so it's pretty healthy as well. So basically I get a bag of oats which I'm guessing is normally about a kilo and I fill this, this is a really good, um, it's plastic but we, we've had it for a really long time and it gets used over and over again. 
So we fill this up, or I fill this up with a bag of oats. Organic if I can get them. And I've been trying really hard lately to get my oats in paper because if I can get stuff in paper, I will try my best. Um, and in this I put, it's all very gassy, so I put sultanas, I put sunflower seeds, if I was eating it I'd put pumpkin seeds, but George doesn't like pumpkin seeds. Um, I put some nuts, this has got pecans in, I just chop them up roughly. Um, what else has it got in? This has got some chopped up dried apricots, some desiccated coconut. Sometimes if I'm feeling like a very nice person, I will put a handful of dark chocolate chips in. And also, um, this has got freeze dried raspberries in. Oops. Which are really yummy. <laughs> um... So we get quite a lot of freeze-dried fruit actually for our muesli because it's just really good. Um, this has also got a fair bit of cinnamon, but it's a muesli that whatever I can find in the pantry, or if there's some nuts that need using up, or a little bit of coconut like there was yesterday, I will just chuck it in basically. Sometimes I put um, chopped up dried apple rings, Occasionally I'll put banana chips, but they're quite crunchy in the morning. I think they're just a bit alarming to chew on first thing in the morning. Uh, what else do I put in? I can't remember, but just basically all kinds of dried fruits, seeds and nuts. And it's really healthy, so easy, not, no cooking, it is basically shove it all in. I don't even mix it. So I, so it has the oats at the bottom and then when I make it, it has all the nuts and fruit and seeds at the top. And I just put it in the pantry like this and George has to shake it because it's quite tricky to shake, to be honest, and it makes your arms ache. So that's George's job. So yeah, I just wanted to share that and it's so delicious. And also, while I'm here, I thought I'd show you what we're having for tea tonight. We are having Kerala prawn curry from this book, and this book is so good. I love all of, now what's her name? Rukmini Ayer. I've probably not said that very nicely. But she has um, the green roasting tin, the roasting tin, and the quick roasting tin. And they're basically meals that can be done in one tin. And you just kind of layer your things up basically like this on here. And I've not made this before, so we'll see how that goes. But really nice recipes and the sweet recipes in here as well, which look very yum. Apple crumb cake. Gingerbread pears. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. Pecan chocolate chip banana bread. Cinnamon cherry clafouti. Oh, I love clafouti. I haven't had it for ages. I might have to make one of those. <gasps> Do you know what? That is such a good idea. I made a boo-boo with the milkman. I guess I should look at you while I'm talking. That's very rude, doesn't it? I made a boo-boo with the milkman because recently we switched to um, having our milk delivered by milkman because the bottles are obviously glass. And I did a boo-boo because I... We had started having full-fat milk and basically it's mostly George who has the milk. And compared to the supermarket full fat milk, it was really, really creamy. Too creamy, apparently. So I changed my order to semi-skimmed milk, and that's much better. But I didn't change it properly. So on Monday, I ended up with three pints of semi-skimmed and three pints of full fat milk. So we've had a lot of milk going on, but this takes 300 mils of full fat milk. I need some cherries, but I'm going out, I think I'm going to pop out tomorrow, so I think I might make that. A bit naughty, but very nice, and it is going to be Friday tomorrow, isn't it? So I think that's fair enough. And it's also just so nice getting your milk delivered in glass bottles. So this, I don't know if you can really see how, like solid that cream is it's really delicious 
and the semi-skimmed is quite good. But I also this week I also ordered this, and it is so delicious. I um, I think dairy upsets my tummy, but it doesn't seem to do it all the time. So I thought I'd treat myself to this and give it a go this week. So I've been having this for breakfast with fruit and gran granola. And my tummy's been absolutely fine this week. And it's so... Oh, I wish you could smell it. It's so good. And it comes in a glass jar. So good. So yeah, I'm enjoying the Milkman experience. Also, they do lots of other things that are really useful because... I changed from Ocado to Sainsbury's food delivery because I was finding Ocado was really expensive. I think partly because there's a lot of choice and it's nice to choose nice things. And also I think it just is a bit more expensive. And so I decided to switch to Sainsbury's, but Sainsbury's don't sell um, organic avocados. And organic avocados, so much nicer in my experience than normal avocados. I find with normal avocados they can be a bit stringy. Organic avocados are so creamy. Oh, I love them. So I get my milkman to deliver my avocados as well. So it's working out really well. Although the boys, Pete would rather go back to Sainsbury's milk because it's cheaper. George, he's okay now I've sorted out the semi-skimmed. But I just, I love the novelty of having a milkman and I love not using plastic in my milk bottles and now my yoghurt. So yeah, and this is where I got my oats from as well. Mm -hmm. 